All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jory Burson, and I'm a very enthusiastic supporter of the OpenJS Foundation Cross Project Council. I'm joined today by uh, John Kleinschmidt, um, who is the core maintainer of the Electron frame Framework, but um, he also is not unfamiliar to the JS Foundation, having previously been a maintainer of Hospital Run, which is one of our fabulous at-large projects. He's been working on JavaScript for over 20 years and is a developer for Microsoft, yes. Um, and also Ben Morris, who is a developer advocate for Google working on the AMP project. Um, he is a former full-time musician, but today is working on making the web a more beautiful and musical place. Um, <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have your communities, uh, you know, here with us at the at the uh, event today, and to be joining your communities. Um, and, you know, I think uh, what we were hoping to talk about in our fireside chat, which is conspicuously absent a fire. No fire here. There's yeah. no fire, yeah. so sorry we oversold that. Um, is a sort of kind of what brought you here? Brought, what brought your projects here to the point? Um, when, you, when did you start to feel it was time for your res respective communities to maybe think about joining a, a foundation? Uh, yeah, so for Electron, um, early this year, we formalized kind of a governance structure for Electron, and it was really at that point that we began to explore the idea of, of, of joining a, a foundation, um, of kind of, in some ways, moving on from our corporate founding um, to, to really be independent. Yeah, I think for us, when I joined the AMP uh, project a couple of years ago, there already was a lot of discussion then about how AMP was an open source project, but it wasn't as open as it really could be, and Google did most of the work, and there was a strong desire to make it more of a thing for the web, because that was the idea of AMP as a thing, not for Google, but for the web, originally. So last year, they took steps to have a similar kind of governance model that was outside of Google, that involved various people taking care of AMP who aren't just Googlers. And then the desire was to get it to be as, much, as open source as possible. And this is how we came to OpenJS. <laughs> and um, your communities are, are pretty big communities today, right? I mean, these are big projects that we're talking about. Um, and you, they've been stewarding the projects fairly successfully for a few years now, right? AMP's four years old, Electron's. Like, That's a good question. Yeah, uh, like three, four years old? Yeah, it's, it's a couple of years old. They're yeah. young, but they're, 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 they're quite big. Um, what does it mean to your communities? Um, what does it signal to them, um, you know, a move like this into, into the foundation to make this kind of change? It, you know, I think for Electron, um, the thing that we really wanted to relay is that um, it's not just like this corporate project. Uh, it, it came out of GitHub, um, you know, GitHub had been acquired by Microsoft, and so there was some kind of, it, there, there's some perception of like, well, okay, is Microsoft gonna ruin Electron? Or, <laughs> and um, I don't think that's based in reality, but, but the, the reality of the Electron project is we work across many different companies uh, with individual contributors, um, and joining a foundation really helps us stay true to that, that goal of, of being independent, of, of not being, um, you know, kind of at the whims of, of, a, of a corporation or um, of, of kind of those type of business needs, but, but really being a community project because that's what it is. I think that our goals there are pretty similar, actually. That sounds <laughs> oddly familiar to me. Yeah, the, I mean, uh, one person started writing AMP by himself, and AMP was created by one person, and then many folks were working on AMP altogether, uh, mostly from Google, and expanded beyond Google, and we thought the time had come to just have everybody really make AMP together, and to make sure that we were really being honest to the idea of being open source, to make things as open as possible, and also to, to expand the contributions, again, further beyond Google, and the decision-making process also beyond Google. Also, Google, for example, part of AMP is there's an AMP cache, couple out out there actually. The most well known is Google's AMP cache. We have this uh, domain, we have a lot of servers out there that serve AMP pages. And it's important that that be done in a way also that's open and that the foundation really control how these things actually work instead of Google trying to use it for its own business goals at some point down in the future. 
I think it's, it's kind of both of you seem to be kind of drawing on this theme of like open means more than just like technical openness, but also of the governance itself and sort of the story of, and, you know, I wonder if you can maybe tell a little bit more of that, that, that story of opening up the decision making, as you put it, for, for the projects, um, which are individually very fascinating. I think it's just better if things are more open. I mean, yeah. we'll make things, as people that work at Google, we think people want, we'll go out there and ask people what kinds of features they need and try to find problems. GitHub is full of feature requests. My job invites, involves finding developers out there, finding gaps in the product, filling those gaps. But truly, everyone should have a chance to do what they want to do with AMP. It should be a thing which is good for the web and makes the web faster, makes this tool better for more people. And if more people have a say in how it actually runs and who actually makes it, it'll be a better product. I think that that's a, an important part of it, right? Like that feedback into the product because you're getting, you know, more, people feel more comfortable giving input into it and kind of guiding it so they get more feedback on the product. And have you seen that played out uh, with, with Electron? Yeah, I, I mean, I think we've always had that heart of being open, of always, um, you know, valuing an individual contributor just as much as a corporate contributor um, so I, I think for us, it's just really reflecting the values we already had. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so like e just us moving to like this open governance model was just an expression of the um, kind of tenets of, of what we were already doing. Um, so it, it, it's just, you know, I, I kind of consider like joining the foundation like just another step of like publicly recognizing like this is an open project and we really want it to be run that way. I'm so glad you mentioned like the values because both of your projects have really great core values, which was something that we looked at and, and part of that application process is like, okay, do their values match the OpenJS Foundation values? Um, I'd love for you to share those today with our, with our community because they are pretty great. Um, do you wanna share a little bit about the, the vision and the mission for AMP and Electron respectively? Yeah, I guess the vision for AMP has always been to make a better web. And people that made AMP from the beginning, that was their idea, to make it easier to make faster websites people could use across the world more easily. If you're on a slower connection or a slower phone somewhere else, you can still use websites. It will still work great for you. And things were not slower than they had to be in order for them to work. So that's been part of AMP from the beginning. And also, I guess the, inclus the inclusiveness, I was saying inclusionary before, <laughs> it's not really a word, is it? We can make it one. <laughs> <laughs> the inclusiveness, <laughs> inclusiveness of AMP was part of what the project was designed for, accessibility for all people, and then this should also be part of the way that it's created as well. So AMP tries to bring in people from all over the world to help out with making AMP better, and with the open, you know, open JS involvement, open JS incubation process, that should just get better. Yeah, and I, I think from Electron's perspective, you, you know, our, I, I guess our vision would be to allow developers to build desktop applications using web technologies. Um, and for us, like, from a like, values perspective, inclusivity is, is really important. Um, one of the things that I was really impressed with as well was um, as we we're kind of going through the process of, of joining, um, there were different questions, and, and one of the questions was, um, would you uh, accept um, the OpenJS uh, COC, Code of Conduct? Um, and the great thing was we looked at it, and it was basically the Code of Conduct that we were already following. Um, so it you know, just was kind of a perfect alignment of, of you know, the values that, that, that we had as, as a group. Mm -hmm. um, and both Electron and AMP are in this incubation phase, which uh, means that they're in the process of transitioning. It's not like something that we can just snap our fingers and everything is done. It's actually a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> um, so this is a period uh, where, where we're making that transition. What has this process been like for your projects so far? Um, you know, what's it been like working uh, through some of these things that we have to check boxes we have to complete? You, you know, I. I was actually expecting it to be a lot more difficult. Um, and it, it, it actually has been a really easy process. Uh, everyone along the way has been really helpful. Um, at different parts, we've, we've had different questions about, you know, are we able to do X or Y, you know, kind of 
how much freedom would we have in the project? I, I know it was a, kind of a reoccurring theme. Mm -hmm. um, and just along the way, we're just able to have very helpful conversations um, and, and kind of work out things and, and figure out, um, you know, if, if there are things we needed to adjust or, or, or just to kind of um, really make sure everyone had a, a really good understanding of the intention of where we're heading. Um, you know, everyone was really easy to work with and really responsive and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great process. Yeah, same here. It's been pretty smooth, I feel like, so far. There have been some questions, things are trying to align the code of codes of, to align the codes of conduct properly and to make sure our contributors can contribute more easily with your guidelines, not the current Google guidelines, which were kind of annoying anyway. Uh, it's good to have these things. I think it's good for us to be, to be uh, honest about all of these things, too. But the nice thing is people here have been very nice and easy to work with. It's been like we're kind of already on the same side with the same goals to begin with. Mm -hmm. So it's just been a, a nice and smooth process. Um, I think, you know, you touched on a theme that sometimes is uh, kind of a, a question when you think about making a change. It's like, oh, the, the, maybe a fear of a loss of control a little bit or like what, am I giving something up? But, um, you know, it doesn't sound like... Yeah, are you, are you giving anything up too much? You know? <laughs> there will be moments people will want to have things, they want to have control over certain things about the process of what gets prioritized. There will be things like giving over our brands, you know, these things we made ourselves, giving them to somebody else. So it's just for the better of the project and for the better of the web. You're giving it to the community now, really, is what yeah. I mean. it's like sharing something we're going to share. Um, it it's also seems like it's a nice, um, you know, process to go through just to sort of like do some project housekeeping, right, as we look at, you know, the policies that you will adopt as an OpenJS Foundation project, like, that's just sort of a nice thing to review from time to time, I would guess. I yeah, we do things, we try to make things open, have meetings that people can all access via, you know, video conference or come to in person and things like that, but it's just making us be really honest about all these things and find, finding places where we're not being as open as we could be, where there are still cliques that are involved that do certain things because people know each other in certain ways opening things, those things up to everybody in a more transparent fashion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, one um, question people might ask is like, you know, openness, yay, but why really, why do this? What are the benefits of um, making a transition like this? Uh, what are the benefits of um, joining a software foundation when you think about it from a more abstract perspective? Why consider it? Yeah, um, so the, the one thing that I, I think is really important is longevity of the project. Um, like, you know, people kind of talk about this bus factor. Like, mm -hmm. Electron's kind of a big project, so a lot of people would have to get hit by a lot of buses in order. <laughs> but but you, you don't know over time, you know, as, like, most of us work for bigger companies that, that have budgets to contribute to the project. Um, o over time, you, you, you can't say whether or not that will be there. Um, so I think the idea of moving to a foundation, like as long as the project is useful, like there's a home for it. And, and I, I think being able to have that is, is a really good reason. Um, I also think about, um, so I, I don't know how it was at Google, but um, you know, at, at GitHub when we started the project, like there wasn't always like good corporate support around, uh, it, there was some, but like, you know, just even things like marketing, like, like, um, you know, I think everyone on the project, uh, our day to day, we're coders, we're not marketers. Um, so, so I think having like marketing support and um, you know, even things like legal, like if there's like a trademark issue, like, you know, that's not really something that I want to have to deal with. Um, so, I, it, it's things like that that I, I, I find are important. Um, and, and I think it also adds some legitimacy to the project of, listen, like, it's backed by something, but it's not, um, again, it's not, like, just a corporation or, um, you know, some large entity. It's, it's a foundation that is there to care for these projects, to, to sustain them. I'd echo all those points there. Uh, you're talking about <clears throat> about corporate support. I mean, Google has been very supportive of AMP and is still very supportive of AMP, but it's important that it be part of something which is larger than Google, mm -hmm. that goes beyond Google. 
we were discussing before the importance of, of maintainability, and people think maintaining a project is kind of mundane work. Making new things is exciting. Maintaining things we already use is not quite as glamorous, but of course, maintaining things is important, then they work for longer. If tools are useful for a little while, they're probably there for good reason. They can be used for longer than that. Uh, so it's nice to have uh, sort of more of the open community support involved in maintenance. Also, we're just kind of proud to be part of this family. I mean, mm -hmm. Node is here, all kinds of interesting things are here we use every day. And we're just very honored to be part of that group of products. I'm really glad that you brought up like the, the glamour of maintenance because like, you know, that's what we want to promote um, because, you know, that's, uh, that's, we're here to maintain the communities that maintain the projects and, and support. So that's, love that. Um, and one, one question that I want to know is um, you know, why ultimately when you were looking at different third places, as I like to call them for your, for your software work, um, what ultimately helped you choose like the, the OpenJS Foundation community? You mentioned Node, so I mean obviously <laughs> JavaScript, it's kind of related. <laughs> yeah. But why, why OpenJS? One nice thing about this organization is that it's really cross, cross, I guess product is the wrong word, cross project, I guess. There's various projects here. We found that there are certain open source organizations that are more about taking a corporate uh, open source project that was open source really because the goal was to kind of onboard developers into a certain ecosystem or to get a company a certain amount of cachet in the community. And this was more about really having a home for different kinds of useful projects that really appealed to us. Also, the people seem like they were nice people. It's been <laughs> true, so there's been uh, no uh, nasty surprises like finding people were all mean or something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think it's, we, we look at the community, I, I mean, our, our users are JS devs. Um, and so to, to be part of a, an organization, you know, that um, is, about JavaScript, like that's, that's really important. Um, coming alongside Node, which is very important part of Electron, like we, um, it, it, it kind of makes sense to, to kind of partner together there. Um, I personally have a, my own personal bias in bringing another Project Hospital run to what was the JS Foundation, but, but now part of OpenJS. Um, and so I think it was kind of a, a, a natural uh, selection of, of just everything seemed to kind of line up to what we wanted to do. And yeah, hospital run, you brought up hospital run is a much different type of project, yeah. um, but still, um, you know, a, an important and interesting project. Um, wish that the new maintainer could be here today. He's awesome. Um, you know, this being like the second project that you've, w you've brought, I think you've probably could look at it from uh, projects of different sizes. What's different about um, the hospital run versus Electron here? Yeah, um, so Electron certainly is a more mature and larger project, um, and um, hospital run was kind of me and a couple other developers. Um, and so um, it, it was kind of in a different state, um, but it was also something that needed um, care to it, the, there was a lot of work that had been put into it, um, and um, that work is continuing with with a new maintainer. Um, and so, again, kind of longevity of the project um, for both Electron and and Hospital Run. Like like, like I think there's similar mm -hmm. goals there. Um, I think that the difference and and one thing that I would encourage. Um, projects who are thinking of like joining a foundation and thinking about is is things like governance um, because if you already have that in place um, that kind of makes the transition easier because you you already have like a structure to um, to kind of run the project mm -hmm. um, which I think makes it easier now I, th I think maybe too that's a, a scale thing right like in a project like hospital run governance would have been like me and like two or three other people sitting in a room. Governance at electron scale is, um, I'm trying to remember, it's like five or six different working groups, <laughs> each with like five to eight people on it. So, so it's a lot larger scale. Um, but I, I think, you know, in, in both cases, um, they can be served by, um, you know, by the foundation. So, yeah. you know, large projects, small projects, I, I, I think both have a place. 
And, um, you know, one thing that recently was mentioned, Hospital Run has a new maintainer, but because it was part of our family of projects, um, you know, even though it was a small, it is a small project, we were able to help with that sort of succession planning, yep. right? Yes. And And that's a big function of governance is like, people are gonna come in yep. and then they're gonna, you know, they're gonna move on to other things, which is great. Um, but you don't want it, you, the project, especially something as important as hospital run is, um, to some of those communities to just fall away. Yep. So, yeah. Um, it's a good point for us too with AMP because, uh, you know, AMP is made by, again, a lot by Google now, other folks also by Google, mm -hmm. and people that use AMP out there, there's many, many sites that use AMP, want to know it'll still be there in five years, and mm -hmm. six years, and this helps guarantee that for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long-term maintained really. So um, we're, we're nearing the end of our time, but I'm, I'm really curious to know, um, I'm excited about the future of OpenJS and all of our projects, but what are you most looking forward to, um, you know, in the new year as an OpenJS Foundation project? I'm hoping we're going to get better swag. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, now, I, I, I think the Electron Project is really looking forward to uh, more collaboration with, with other projects, especially with Node, um, but also just to be more ingrained in, 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 into the JS ecosystem to really, like, not only, like, gain benefit, but, but to be giving... Um, help where we can in, in other projects or, or just to be a, a good member of the community. I, I think that's, that, that's something that's important to us is to not just think about what we're doing, but kind of that, that whole ecosystem and, and how we can be helping. Yeah, I'm looking forward to more people out there feeling more ownership of AMP. Like they can actually not just say AMP lacks this feature that I want, I'll try to like make a feature request and see what happens in six months by actually saying, oh, AMP likes this feature that I want. I could make this feature because I also am part of AMP. <laughs> and that would be a very nice thing. There are those who are doing this now. People don't often do this, but they can do it more. And also, um, uh, swag, hexagonal stickers are great. Uh, and also beyond that, um, that we run events around the world. We have conferences and mini conferences all over the place from uh, Pakistan to Brazil to Australia to everywhere, and trying to maybe involve all you in more of that a little more. We could have events that would be for developer tools in general, for developers to come to who are JavaScript developers to learn more about more things they can do to make their lives easier and make their websites look, and look better and be easier to make. That's awesome. I feel like you must have been reading my mind because like, oh, we should definitely close with a call to action here that um, both Electron has, Electron has a uh, collaborator summit, uh, AMP has a collaborator summit. We're doing um, the OpenJS Foundation collaborator summit tomorrow and Saturday right here. Uh, and we would love you to stick around for those um, and also think about joining one of the road shows um, or, or coming to a summit for, for either, either of these projects um, because this open source is your open source. It's our open source. So um, great, I want to thank both of you for, uh, for your time this afternoon. And yeah, let's you so welcome much. Electron and AMP. <laughs>